Hey, what's going on everybody? It's an exciting video here. And I must apologize if my last couple of videos aren't very clear. Um, I noticed that it says HD or they're not HD. I don't know what's going on with my phone or it's just my apartment and there's not enough lighting. So, or I don't know, I, I put in a halogen light. Anyway, if my videos aren't being very clear, sorry, I, I don't know what's going on. I'm trying to fix that anyway. So we got a glary guitar, uh, kind of disappointed though. Uh, I only got one. I ordered both of them at the same exact time, paid the money for both on Glary, but I only got one and I kind of freaked out that they, for the UPS guy left one on the truck, but I went and checked my email, my tracking, everything. The other one is going to arrive tomorrow. Like, why didn't they just put both on the truck? So I'm not even sure which one I got here, but I'm pretty sure this is the base. And if you watching the, if you saw the thumbnail of this video, then you already know which guitar it is. Right now, I don't. I haven't opened this yet. I just got this about uh, 30, 45 minutes ago. I brought it in the house, took a shower, and now we're gonna unbox this, see what it is. And um, we're, gonna, we're gonna do an unboxing and a first test of this, and then we'll have a whole separate video where I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to set this up a, a different and then put on some different strings and whatnot. But for this one, we're gonna see how this guitar is straight out of the box from Glary and see what kind of quality we got going on with this. This is the, as you can see, this is still taped. I have not opened this yet. I'm gonna open this together. Hopefully I don't slice my finger open. I have to go to urgent care. I heard they like to pack this with styrofoam. I think I have this upside down. I'm pretty sure this is the bass guitar. Looks like I'm already getting foam. Yeah, that looks like the base. It was the the box was pretty light and small. It didn't look like because the guitar I ordered came with an amp. I will say the packing job is pretty cool. I mean, they got this solidified in foam. Definitely gonna have to vacuum my room after this. Nice. Uh, this is definitely not in tune at all whatsoever. Like horribly out of tune. Okay, quick close up here. First unboxing. I haven't even looked at the back yet. Uh, the neck looks a lot skinnier in real life. I thought it was going to be a lot fatter. It's nice and thin in my. Uh, the nut doesn't seem too. The nut does not seem too high. Let's get a closer look. I'm going to flip this over here. This definitely is light. It's pretty cool. Okay, so right off the bat, aesthetically, this thing looks amazing. It looks freaking cool. Gig bag, comes with a gig bag, kind of cheesy, really thin. I wouldn't even consider it a gig bag. It's more of a shopping bag to carry this thing in. Uh, it does come with a strap and a guitar cord, which is kind of cool. Uh, I did notice the neck is very, is bowed backwards. I'm not sure if you can see that. It is bowed downward, but Probably because this is not in tune at all. The strings are very floppy. So the first thing we're gonna do is tune it up 
and see where the neck is at that point. Now I've heard that these guitars are neck heavy, that they drop. And one of the reasons might be because they put the strap, one of the strap lock or strap thingies here, it should be over here. Um, probably a better idea to put it there because the wood's very thin, but I don't know. I mean, the neck is nice and smooth. It's really light and actually a lot smaller than I thought it was. I thought this was gonna be a lot bigger. It is a full size bass, but for a full size, it's definitely, it's definitely smaller. But it does look freaking cool. I mean, the finish is nice. I don't see any scratches. I don't see any dings. Oh, let's feel the frets. Uh, frets feel pretty decent. Frets aren't bad. I mean, there's a, there's a tiny bit of grit, but I mean, I don't think I need to do anything to that. That feels all right. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's tune it up and let's check out what happens to the neck. Because right now the neck is horrible; it's bowed backwards. We need to tune this up and uh, see where the neck is. Okay, we got her all tuned up and I can tell you there's already a couple of issues. Uh, the height of the strings is way off and I will I can actually show you that here in a second. It did tune up pretty good. Uh, the tuners definitely uh, feel a little gritty, have a little bit of play in them, uh, but it did tune up. But again, you guys know me, when I buy guitars, uh, I'm gonna buy new strings. And once I take these off, we're gonna go over everything, make sure everything's tightened. The neck did straighten out quite a bit. I think it actually needs a little bit more, I don't know if you call it, it needs to be bowed up this way, just ever so slightly. And there is the neck dive. Um, probably more because of where they position the strap right here. But uh, you can, you know, if you rest your arm, you can kind of keep it from, uh, this base is so light, it really doesn't take much effort at all to keep it up. It's light, it feels good, other than the neck dive. I mean, it's, um, it's light, it's pretty comfortable. Neck feels good. Uh, we definitely need to adjust the string height, adjust the neck. I'm not gonna adjust the neck until I get new strings. I'm actually not gonna really do anything to this guitar in this video. All right, guys, we're gonna plug this into my little Yamaha amp, the THR2. We're not gonna run this through Reaper yet until I get all this set up, but uh, the little Yamaha amp sounds pretty good. Let's see what kind of sounds this gets. effects on here. exactly sure which knob does what okay from doing a little guesswork I'm guessing this knob is the tone this is the volume for the bridge pickup and this is the volume for the neck pickup which that's what it seems like the tone
toe knob has an interesting change in sound though. It doesn't really go from high to low or low to high. It goes, it's almost like it goes from high to mid-range to scooped. Sorry guys, I am not like a badass bass player. I just play bass and throw tracks down, but you know, so far, I mean, other than having to hold the neck up, as you can see, other than that, it plays pretty good. And I haven't done anything to this. I, all I did was tune it up and it doesn't feel bad at all. It doesn't feel great, but it doesn't feel bad for $109, $110. <laughs> on here. Okay, as promised, I was going to show you guys. Look at the string height here. These two metal ones are way off. It's, uh, let me see if we can look down this way. Yeah, look at the, look at this string right here. It's just like freaking jumps up. It's not as easy to see on camera. But right here, when you go like this, look how look how it's almost that is not an even round. It doesn't go evenly rounded with the neck. This the E string's nice and low, and the rest of these are high. The neck needs to be adjusted. All right, guys, my my final thoughts on this. Overall, I'm happy, and it is pretty much what I expected, um, which is nice. Now I'm going to tell you this: if you're a beginner. You can buy, I think, pretty sure you can buy this with the amp and get the amp combo with this bass. Um, I wanted just the bass because I'm just going to run this through Reaper and record tracks. If you're a beginner, you may not be happy with this. Strictly for the, this thing came completely whacked out of tune. The neck needs adjusting. The bridge needs adjusting. This needs a whole setup. So if you're a beginner and you think you're going to pull this out of the box and have fun, probably not. 
does it it plays it sounds good but it doesn't feel very good right now because it needs a setup which for a hundred and ten dollar bass that looks like this I personally am not going to complain about that I know how to set up guitars for a, a beginner it's not going to the knobs feel okay there's a couple of tight spots and loose spots but the overall they feel somewhat smooth um, I mean it's freaking beautiful I'm pretty I'm I think it's safe to say this is kind of a ripoff of an e, like a, an ESP LTD or the Tom Araya, uh, his signature bass. I'm not sure what the name of that is. Tom Araya from Slayer. He plays a bass similar to this, and I'm pretty sure that's what uh, Glary's pretty much ripping off here. But I mean, it's a freaking beautiful the the finish, the paint job on it. I mean, the back, the screws. I I don't. There's no cracks. There's no scratches. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to go over this and tighten every single thing, but we'll do that when we take the strings off. But the frets don't feel bad at all. The nut on here looks like just some basic plastic uh, nut on there they threw on there. I don't think it's anything special. It's not made out of bone or nothing like that, but I mean, you get what you pay for. And I got to say... Um, for $110, like, this is actually a really good deal, and that's going to be my final thought, is are you going to have to do some work to it? Yes, but um, I don't really see that being an issue because for a beginner, yes. For someone, for a seasoned guitar player, um, you're, you're always going to set up a guitar to your personal preference, and I don't have a problem doing that. So, I mean, to me, this, I mean, so far, so good. Like, again, I haven't done anything to this guitar. All we did was tune it up. It plays. The knobs work. It sounds really good. So, we're going to do a part two of this video where we're going to take the strings off. We're going to make sure everything's tightened up. We're going to pour, we're going to put some lemon oil on the neck, or the fretboard, sorry, to shine that up a bit. And uh, and then we'll put, we'll put some new string. I think I want to get some Diodarios. Maybe we'll get some Diodarios, maybe we'll add a little bit more tension, bring that neck up, and we won't even have to adjust the neck. And then we're going to run this through Reaper and, and see, like, the really good sound we can get with this. But, um, I mean, so far, guys, that's pretty freaking sick. I mean, this is metal. This, I mean, <laughs> that's the video. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, hey, subscribe to my channel if you, if you would. And... This is part one. We're going to do a part two of this bass. Just like we're going to do the Glary guitar that I'm still getting. We're going to get that tomorrow night. And then uh, we'll, uh, tomorrow night I'll do an unboxing of the Glary guitar. This is the bass guitar. And then we're going to do a part two of both of them. We're going to we're gonna put new strings on. You know, like I said, make sure everything's tight. And then we'll run them through Reaper and really see what kind of sound these gar uh, guitars can get. But so far I'm happy, guys. All right, guys, as always, Metal Till Death. Stay tuned for part two of this uh, glary, burning fire metal bass.